Hey, my name is Ben with the Kettering Bulldogs RI3D team, and we're here at the FTC Robot in 30 Hours. Uh, so a few suppliers have sent us some great gifts. Um, some I know a little bit about and others I don't. Um, so we're gonna start off with the Andy Mark stuff. Uh, what I do know about this is that they are sending us a couple things. One has to do with the drive, uh, like a drivetrain slash chassis, and the other has to do with the collection mechanism. So let's go ahead and open it up. Giving you a voice. Making it loud our own way. Welcome, Welcome to, to the fun. fun. First updates now is supported by Kettering University. Kettering University is where robotic students come for their education. Over 30% of those who attend Kettering University were in high school robotics, and you can keep going with their BattleBots, VexU, eSports, and FIRST mentorship programs. If you are a U.S. student grades 8 through 12, scan the QR code to stay up to date on info and events happening at Kettering and get a free Kettering t-shirt when you sign up by December 12, 2021. We would like to thank our friends at Stryker for supporting fun so we can continue to make content for you. Stryker makes some of the most revolutionary medical equipment and is a big supporter of FIRST and its participants. If you are looking for an internship or career that supports you being in FIRST, check out careers.stryker.com to learn more. First off, we got some nice foam, good packing foam. All right. So right off the bat, I see some mechanic wheels, some game elements, uh, some something. <laughs> uh, let's see here. So I'm just gonna set these over here. All right, so we got some, uh, let's see here. It says Entraption Stars, um, nubs for Endymark 4577. So that's these. Um, yeah, these look like they're made out of rubber. So these are gonna be great to collect the field elements, which is the, uh, the block and the ball here. Um, and it looks like Andy Mark sent us uh, four of them. So next up, we have some, whoop, some uh, new spin take nub uh, bore, which is Andy Mark 4621. Uh, so they also sent us four of these, which looks like a much smaller version of uh, the other thing they sent. So again, it's the same type of material, really squishy, really nice. So it would be great for collection. Again, they sent us four of them. So over here, they sent uh, us a couple sushi rollers, um, which is Andy Mark 4592. Uh, and we have a few different colors. And if I recall correctly, the different colors mean the different durometers for the rubber. Um, so it looks like we have like a blue one, a green one, yeah, the green one is much more squishy. I don't know if you can see that, but compared to the blue, which is a lot more stiff. Um, and I would assume that the red and orange are either gonna be more stiff or somewhere in between. Uh, so yeah, the orange is a little, little bit less uh, squishy than the green one. So I guess in order here, let's just get some, uh, we'll do this. Oops. And then we also have a red one, whoops. Oh, this is another, yeah, this, this one feels, eh, it's about the same as the orange, honestly. So you probably look up the actual durometer of them and get more details. All right, so next up we have this. It's hard to read. It says, I don't know, mighty fluid this, I don't know. So we're gonna try to open it. Oh, oopsies. <laughs> All right. All right, so we got one of their uh, big green squishy wheels. I forgot what these are called. Um, and what looks like a IndyMark motor on it. Uh, I can't really tell exactly what it is. Um, but, you know, it's one of their never rest motors. I don't know what gearbox is on it. But, uh, Yep, so that's really nice. And we got the uh, nice mounting bracket on it too. So that'd be really easy to mount onto your robot. Next up, we got some hubs. Uh, these are the, looks like some of the Andy Mark hubs. Um, these are gonna be great for connecting some of the different wheels and different uh, collection mechanisms that we have. And then finally, oh, looks like we have a little letter here. Um, okay, this is just 
random stuff. All right. Finally, we have this chassis here. Oh my, okay, we're gonna take out. Really did a good job packing it in there. All right. So again, we got really nice looking mechanum chassis here. Um, this looks like a uh, sort of like a version of their tile runner chassis, but uh, it looks a lot nicer uh, for like a mechanism uh, setup. So looks like we got some uh, Neverest motors on there. Uh, I'm not sure what the uh, the gearboxes is, but we'll have to check it out some more. It looks like all the uh, all the Andy Mark stuff we received. Thanks a lot to Andy Mark for sending this over to us. We look forward to uh, using it. Next up, we got some of the uh, red rev surprises. So uh, we already ordered the new control hub, which is new as of last year. Um, but the thing I'm really excited for is the new driver hub. Um, they also sent us a nice expansion hub. Um, so these have been out. This is just your standard uh, you know, expansion hub that goes on the robot. So uh, most of you are probably already familiar with this. So it's uh, pretty, pretty basic. Uh, we also got some nice stickers in here. So there's that. And then next up, the exciting thing is we have the driver hub. Um, this is going to replace the phone driver station. Um, I've heard a little bit about these and I've seen one, but I, don't, I haven't really, really touched it much. So right off the bat, we got the unit itself, the driver hub. Got a nice peel on it. There we go. In the back here, we have what looks like a battery. It's going to be really nice having a separate battery for that. And then here they have what looks like a charging brick and a power cable, and that's it. Um, so the driver hub, I don't know much about it, but I do know that it runs Android, very similar to what the phones did. Um, it has everything you need. What's really nice, and I'm really excited for this, is the individual USB hubs. Um, or ports because instead of uh, fussing with a uh, previous USB port, you won't have these issues anymore um, with, it, with your controllers disconnecting. Um, so this is really nice. I really like that it's USB-C. Uh, it's going to make you know, a nice standardized cable. Um, it also has network. I'm not too sure what you could use that for, but I'm really interested to see what teams will do with this and maybe we'll figure out something to do with it. Let's see, what else do we have on it? We have a micro SD card, so you could load your code through there, I believe. And that looks about it. Uh, should I do the peel? Here we go, did I get it all nice? Nice, there we go. So, thank you Rev for sending us over the expansion hub and the driver hub. Look forward to using it. All right, last but not least, we have GoBuilda. Uh, they sent over their Strafer chassis. Um, so I reached out to some people in the FTC Discord and I was talking a little bit about chassis and they said that this is like one of the go-to chassis chassis. Uh, so I'm really looking forward to uh, seeing what we have in here. So I have a lot of fun packing peanuts. This would be fun to clean up. So from my understanding, this is a kit. Um, so it looks like here we have a bunch of little wires and gears and different hubs and mounting uh, stuff for to build the chassis. Uh, it's like a packing slip. Oh, nice. There we go. We got a nice little uh, measurement tool here. And what looks like, uh, thanks for your order. So, yep, this looks pretty good. Let's see here. So then we got some of the nice uh, U-channel here. So this, from my understanding, this is like a metric system. Um, and so it's really nice. Looking forward to you know, playing with this some more. Some more U channel, U or C channel, whatever you want to call it. Oops. Um, all right. In here we have a box that says Mechanum Wheel Set High du Durability Bearing Supported Rollers. So looking forward to taking a look at these. Some nice packing foam in here. Oh, and there they are. There are the wheels themselves. Uh, let's see if I can go ahead and open one of these up for you. All right. Wow, so 
yeah, the rollers are really nice and smooth. Uh, they look really grippy. It looks like it would work great on the foam tiles. Um, so yeah, they look really high quality. Uh, this looks like metal here with a plastic hub in there. So really looks like it's going to be great for uh, a chassis. All right, let's see what else we got in here. Uh, looks like they sent over four of their motors. So the nice thing about this chassis and why I'm really looking forward to it is the motors actually sit inside of the uh, U-channel. Um, so yeah, I can go ahead and open one of these up. I haven't actually seen one of the Go Build a motors. I've only played with the Andy Mark ones. So let's see. Whoops. So yeah, these are. You know, they got a nice hex shaft here. Hex shaft is really great. Uh, prevents the hubs from slipping. And uh, yeah, so thank you, Go Builda, for sending this over. Really appreciate it. Um, and thank you to all of the other companies as well, again, for supporting this year's FTC Robot in 30 Hours from the Kettering Bulldogs RI3D team. Thanks to Kettering University for their support of this video. Don't just sit in class. Kettering University is the only school in the U.S. that allows you to work as an engineer your first year with their three-month-on, three-month-off co-op programs. If you are a U.S. student grades 8 through 12, scan the QR code to stay up to date on info and events happening at Kettering and get a free Kettering t-shirt when you sign up by December 12th, 2021. We would like to thank our friends at Stryker for supporting this video. Stryker is looking for current and future FIRST alumni to join their internship program and FIRST mentors who are looking for a great career with the company who actually supports their FIRST journey. Go to careers.stryker.com to learn more. Thank you to Animark, GoBuilda, and Rev Robotics for providing components and giveaways to the Bulldogs Robot in 30 Hours team. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell to stay up to date on our new videos. Keep the conversation going and provide your input to our content. Watch our live shows at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Join our Discord at discord.gd forward slash first updates now. And check out Fun FTC on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And First Updates Now on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter.